But first, we are working breaking news. A Cranston police officer accused of assaulting a suspect in police custody has been found guilty of misdemeanor simple assault. The judge handed down his decision in the bench trial of Officer Andrew Leonard just a short time ago. Let's go live to 12 News reporter Courtney Carter, who's live at court in Warwick with those breaking details. Courtney? Well, Shannon, the judge took almost 30 minutes giving his judicial opinion before the guilty verdict, saying that although it was Mattiello arrested for a violent offense that day, it was Leonard who instigated the fight that fateful day. The judge giving the officer a scathing review of his behavior on the day the surveillance video was taken, saying he had multiple chances to walk away or behave differently, but chose not to. Officer Andrew Leonard took the stand again in his own defense Thursday, walking step by step through the video, with the prosecution asking why an officer with so much experience, 24 years exactly, didn't use other methods. Leonard reiterated that through Mattiello's body language, he reacted, thinking he was ready for a fight. Telling Telling the judge he feared the suspect had gotten a hold of his belt and that the other officers weren't helping him. The judge, after delivering the verdict, says he knows why his fellow officers didn't step in. The testimony of the officers who were here uh, was at times gut wrenching. Now, those two officers, you can tell they're sick. You know why I think that they didn't engage? Because they knew what was happening. It was not right. That's why they didn't engage. They're not going down for Gian Mariello. Career criminal. They're not going to put their careers on the line. Now, the judge gave Leonard a one year suspended sentence with probation with no time to serve. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News. First, breaking news a judge has found a Cranston police officer guilty of assaulting a suspect at police headquarters. The verdict in the bench trial came down late this afternoon following about three days of testimony, including Prosecutors showing surveillance video of the altercation. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter was in court for the verdict and joins us now live. Courtney? Well, the judge took almost 30 minutes reading his judicial opinion and a breakdown of the video, saying that he even watched it at home and it was clear to him that that day the officer started the fight. Judge J. Patrick O'Neill found Cranston police officer Andrew Leonard guilty of misdemeanor simple assault on an unarmed prisoner. The tape is obviously the, um, the key piece of evidence. These cameras in Cranston, I'll come in Cranston having such good quality, you could almost read lips. Earlier Thursday, Leonard took questions from a prosecutor going step by step over the surveillance video again. Leonard continued to say that the times he had the altercation with Mattiello, it came after the suspect reached for his belt, and that the two other officers failed to provide assistance to him. Right here on the bottom right hand corner, that's Mattiello's hand, and that is my flashlight. Right the judge gave a scathing report to Leonard, saying he believed he had multiple chances to walk away, but didn't. Also telling Leonard he knows why his fellow officers didn't help. You know why I think that they didn't engage? Because they knew what was happening. It was not right. That's why they didn't engage. The defense and state in closing arguments also putting the two men up against each other, but both sides say for their side, the video showed one answer. Two people from opposite ends of the spectrum of society. In that cell block, one of those two people acted better than the other. One of those two people acted legally, and it was the convicted felon. The judge gave Officer Leonard a one year suspended sentence with probation with no time to serve. In work, I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News.